Hey everyone! So it's been a beautiful rainy day here today, but uh, it's just cleared up for a few hours. So I'm getting all my weekend gardening tasks done in like two hours in the evening. Uh, well, the most important ones. Uh, the most important thing is uh, to repot my rhubarb that I bought. Uh, it's really, really sad and needs to be in a bigger space. Um, I'm also going to be potting up some baby tomatoes that uh, I started uh, in the spring and they're ready to move into something a little bit bigger and um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take a peek at my uh, worm farm and see if I can harvest some of the castings uh, to give my new little potted plants a boost. Hmm. Okay, so this is my worm bin set up and I'm just going to start by uh, draining off some of the liquid. It's a, actually a really good nitrogen fertilizer. Um, it smells terrible when it comes out, um, but if you water it down in some water, uh, I usually kind of water my lettuce with it. Um, super diluted though, because if I put it on straight, it'll just wilt everything. I do have some gravel in the bottom of this bin, and uh, I figure that collects some of the fluid, uh, keeps the worms out of it. Um, and then I've, we drilled a hole in the bucket and put this tap in. And it's just from like an old water container. So then when I've got most of that out, and we'll uh, head in and take a peek. A little piece of burlap, some random dry, so, oh yeah. See all those little guys in there? Lots of babies. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's great. Sorry for any of you who are a little squeamish. You might not have been expecting to see so many little tiny squiggly squirmy worms. They do seem to like to make babies mostly in the newspaper. Anyway, but what I am in here for um, is number one to see if they've eaten all the food I gave them last week, which that's what this is. Um, I use pulp from my juicer because I like to make fresh juice. Um, so that's what what that is. You can kind of still see some like little beet skins. Most of it's kind of gone, but um, I'm going to leave that a little bit longer because I don't want it to start smelling really bad. But for now, lots of life in there. That's looking awesome. Um, the other thing I'm in here for is worm castings. So I really should have brought a bucket, actually, but um, hoping that I can separate enough of this stuff from the worms um, uh, that I can use it for my tomatoes and my rhubarb that I'm going to be repotting today. So I'm just going to go get a bucket. So I don't really want to take the worms with me, because they won't like that. Um, so some of these sticks and things, we don't need those, they can stay in the bin for now. But if I go down a little bit deeper, there should be some more. See, look at that. Hmm, there's some little, little worm friends. You can see you've got some eggshells in there. Back into your home, little worm friends. Here we go. So this is a really rich soil additive. Um, it really increases the fertility of soil. The castings, not the worms. Although the worms probably would be helpful too. And I don't know if all these little white things, if those are like newborn baby worms, uh, probably. Um, this is my first year worm farming, so I am not at all, I'm still in the experimental phase. Um, I was having problems getting them to reproduce, um, so I did Google search on how to get your worms to reproduce, 
and applied a few of the things I found and well it seems to have worked. It might be time actually, almost time to uh, separate these bins. So it is seven o'clock here. Um, if you can hear the bells ringing in the background and at seven o'clock uh, here in my city uh, people ring bells and bang pots and things like that uh, to honor our essential service workers. They've been doing it since um, we sort of shut down for COVID. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, but that's what that noise is in the background. So there's just tons of these little guys in here. Um, I did hear that if you put half a banana or you don't feed your worms for a little while and then you put half a, like an old banana in here, they all kind of move into the banana and then you can just lift the banana and you have just the castings left behind. So I probably will try that next time. Okay, that'll be enough to at least add to my soil. Whoa! Okay, that's enough fun for today. We'll put our little burlap back on. Put the lid back on. And I've got some lovely worm tea and some worm castings. And what looks like an old produce sticker. We don't need that. Okay, on to the next thing. This is my very sad looking rhubarb plant that desperately needs to be potted into something bigger. Uh, this is pretty common um, in plants that uh, are in pots that are too small for them. I see it in my tomatoes too, where the leaves kind of start to turn yellow and curl a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's not getting enough nutrients or enough water, um, but putting it in a bigger pot always seems to solve the problem. Really, this rhubarb should be in the ground, um, but I don't have any ground to put it in right now. So today it's going in a bigger pot. And this is, whoops, basil. <laughs> These guys are uh, the other project for today. These are Hawaiian currant tomatoes. So as you can see, they're tiny. Um, I guess that's the current part. Um, my other ones planted at the same time. Uh, there you can see some of them. So they're way, way, way bigger. So I'm not really sure. I've never grown Hawaiian current tomatoes before. Um, but I think these are at the point now where I can put them into a bigger pot. Uh, and they'll just keep going. Haven't seen any flowers yet, but I'm excited to see how the variety does. So I just watched the video that I took of me uh, repotting the rhubarb plant and realized I did it all in time lapse. So, um, you get a time lapse of me <laughs> repotting the rhubarb plant instead. Uh, I just potted it in some garden soil mixed with compost, mixed with the worm castings we harvested, um, and uh, added some composted leaves on top to just kind of keep the water in a little bit. Uh, the roots were super Mm, overgrown in the pot, root bound, super root bound. Um, so uh, hopefully it'll be looking happier pretty soon. I think most leaves are gonna die. Those three big ones that have turned brown anyway, but the the little ones will be be fine. Um, so yeah, I'll post a picture on my Instagram feed when it's uh, looking healthy again, and we'll all celebrate together. Okay, so now it's time for tomatoes. Let's collect some pots. do I have? Five, maybe? Five tomatoes?
There we go. Mission accomplished.